fighting, shooting, robberies, police around, surrounding houses, kicking down doors. Pretty much stuff that you might see on movies. It was I was living in an area like that, that stuff went down there almost every other week or every week. There are many ways to describe the life of Rashi Warren. Growing up in English woods, a suburb of Cincinnati, Ohio, was not only a test of his character, but where the root of conviction began. A root that allowed him to survive. Foster saved my life. I was doing a whole lot as far as with me and my friends, the friends I've been coming up with, they either dead or they in jail. His craft is speed, precision, a game of inches. A reminder of his past when inches separated him from life or death. I was riding through downtown and somebody mistake that it was it was somebody in our car that they thought whoever they were shooting at and they started shooting at the car. And like, and I was in the back seat and it, it hit the car like four times and like the bullet hit the seat. And it, it and I felt it hit under the seat and I like, dad, the bullet hit the seat. Then they like drove out like, we still ain't never really tell nobody about it because there's a lot of people that, that like us but some that's against us. Just the fact that, that they just got that in their heart, like that hate in their heart. I don't know why, because what we doing is positive. Two of my friends, you know, they had got into a street fight, close friends, and uh, one had hit the other one. He had fell, hit his head, had a seizure, and died. So when that happened, it's like we only the farthest we get with each other now is just, we maybe argue. But back then, we was young. We used to just like fighting each other and like get it off your chest, fight, shake hands out of that. It ain't none of that anymore. It's just like we might have disagreements, and that's it. From street fighter to Olympic fighter, Warren's past defines his future. I don't really get that, that that much time to really come visit here. You know, I'm always on the other side of town or doing stuff and when I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm here, I'm talking to you about how my life been, how it was coming up and you see in my neighborhood and it's just trees and fence and just one big building. They just show you that my story has been true from day one. This right here is just a big motivation. Like, this is something I can show my kids. Like, this is where I used to live at. Look, it's gone now. Like, it's gone because how rough and how violent it was. It wasn't safe for kids or not like that. Now entering his third Olympics, Warren wants the gold more than ever. Right now, I'm just trying to get to the next level, trying to get to my peak. So I'm doing everything as possible, you know, to get ready for it. So whoever's in my way, you know, I feel like they blocking me for, you know, reaching my goal. So I got to, you know, get them up out of there. I'm like more like a leader now because, you know, when I was 17, I was, you know, just still learning, still, you know, aware, still trying to figure out what was going on, how the game was played. And as I start growing up, up to now, it just, it's like now I got to show people the route and what to do and not to do and what's good and what's not good. And I changed a lot and it, it also helped me to be a better father too, to my kids too. It, 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 it made me work harder. His message is clear. Set your goals high and never stop till you reach the top. You wake up at a young age and whatever dream you have, whatever you got planned, always stick to it. Don't, let, don't never let nobody tell you different. Ain't nothing like doing something you love to do. And fighting is what I love doing. And then it started from here, day one. For Ball State at the Games, I'm Josh Blessing.